Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. It's already halfway through the night. We've been working all day, all night. But right now I'm about to go ahead and do a bent tie rod replacement on this 2016 328i. So pretty much what happened, they were just driving, pulling out of a parking lot, I believe, and somebody just ran right into the wheel. They got a little dent on the fender right here as well, but the majority of the damage was sustained by that tie rod. Uh, the tie rod got bent in, and yeah, so we're about to just change that out. Uh, there's no other damage in terms of suspension or anything like that. All right, so let's replace that tie rod, put the, everything back together, and try to get the alignment as close to it needs to be as I can. But if I can't, then there's going to have to go get alignment done somewhere else.
right, so I finished up the 2016 328i, uh, replaced that tie rod, took it for a spin, the alignment was still off a little bit, but not too bad. They're gonna go get it aligned as soon as they can. So that's out, brought this E90 in. It's got a massive oil leak. I actually have a video on this on my main channel where I just went over the common E90 problems. So if you guys have an E90, be sure to check that out. But this one has a broken head bolt. So we're gonna pull off this manifold, uh, take out the rest of the threads out of that head bolt and put a new head bolt in there. And hopefully that'll solve this massive oil leak. As you can see, it's everywhere. All over the alternator, all over the belts, every hose. Pretty much every single inch of this engine bay and underneath the car is covered with oil and grime because of that leak. Uh, so we're gonna pull it off and get to it. So I just finished up replacing the whole head bolt. Uh, in that process, I had to remove a bunch of the intake manifold, also had to remove the throttle body. And while I was at it, I cleaned all that stuff up. So because I did that, I am gonna go ahead and clear out all of the check engine lights, any of the fault codes, as well as clear up all the adaptations. That way the car can pretty much relearn the whole throttle position and all that with everything cleaned out. So that's what I'm doing here with the computer. Uh, and once again on this, I'm just using Infa, it's an E90. Infa supports E90 as well. And if you guys need like a video on installing Infa or any other like the BMW software, feel free to go check it out on my main channel at Shop Life TV where I have a video dedicated to that. But anyways, after clearing out all adaptations and the fault codes, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the car on, make sure there's no other issues, make sure it runs properly without any other misfires or any major vacuum leaks. Because that's one thing you wanna always make sure whenever you do any intake related stuff, just be sure that there are no vacuum leaks before you put the whole car back together. I I had already put most of it back together by this point, but I was pretty confident in that there were no vacuum leaks because most of those boots on the E90s are actually solid. So it's kind of hard to get a vacuum leak. So before I end this video, there are a few things I wanted to mention. Uh, there's a lot of people that actually watch this vlog channel, but they don't know that me and Selena both have different channels. So she has a channel called BMW Selena, where she is doing her LS3 swap. It's on YouTube as well, obviously. And I have another channel called Just Shop Life TV, which is where I do all my DIYs and you know just other videos that are more specific towards a process or a car. So if you guys wanna go check those out, make sure they're linked down below in the description. So just make sure you go click on there, subscribe, do whatever you want. And there's a bunch of stuff on there that might interest you, especially if you're into E46s. And then another thing, I wanted to ask a few questions about the vlogging style that we're doing. So right now we have, we vlog, we try to vlog as much as we can. Most of the vlogs are a couple of days combined together. And I don't usually vlog when there's customers here because I'd rather be talking to the customer than be talking to the camera. Uh, but there are some instances where Selena will go around and just showcase the car in the vlog, but we won't be talking. But if you guys like stuff like that, Make sure you leave a comment down below and we'll try to do more things like that. And also if you guys want to see more content such as me going to buy tools or picking up parts and stuff like that, make sure you leave that as a comment down below as well. I've also got quite a few messages recently where people have seen me in places like if I'm at Walmart buying oil or something or at AutoZone, Harbor Freight. I've had people actually see me and they don't come up to me, they just message me like an hour or two later. If you see me, come up to me. It's always a good experience. I love to meet new people and everybody has something to contribute. So if it doesn't matter if you're into cars or not. If you see me, come and talk to me. Besides that, I think that's it for this video. 
Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you go check out our main channels. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram.